This is showing um, the actual NDVI values that have been colorized so that um, areas that are dark green have more biomass and areas that are brown are low biomass areas. But what this doesn't tell us is how does this particular condition compare to the average or compare to the previous week. In other words, this is a pretty map, but it's not very useful without adding some value to it. And what we do to add value is we make it relative. So this map is late August compared to late August for the last 21 years. And what we're seeing here is that in parts of Kansas, we are greener than we normally are at this time of year. Now, in other parts, we're not as green, and I'll show you when we look at the Kansas map in more detail. But you can see areas that are drier due to heat stress or whatever might be causing it. Obviously, we have the desert, but, but what it's saying here is that areas that are kind of white are about normal. Areas that are brown are decreased. They're, they're browner than normal and not as green. And areas that are green are greener than normal. Most of the U.S. is greener than it normally is this year. And we zoom into what we call the corn belt for people who are interested in corn and soybean. That's what this map is for, and it's a similar story. You can see here in Iowa, they're about normal in some areas, and that's up in the area where they produce a lot of the corn and soybean. Uh, we can see in Kansas, we're about normal here, but we are lower than normal in some areas. And finally, here's a zoom in on Kansas. And what this is showing us is that We've got some stress up in these areas of Kansas and up in here. Interesting, this is greener than normal. Some would say, why is that greener than normal? That's where we produce a lot of our winter wheat. And the last fall when the farmers went into plant, it was too muddy to get the equipment in the field uh, too late into the season, and they were not able to get the winter wheat planted. So this summer, when the conditions were right, they went in and a lot of it got planted to soybean, which is green right now. So this area is greener than it normally is because they're growing a lot of soybean down there this year when normally they're growing winter wheat. This is a, an example of a zoom in on um, uh, Hamilton County right over on the western edge of Kansas. And what you're seeing here is the late August compared to the average. Uh, Mary Knapp, the climate state climatologist who um, has, is working closely with us on this, has said that there's some really interesting patterns in here that she can equate with particular rainfall events. For example, this area in here, they received rainfall. Where down in this part, they didn't receive the rainfall. And so <clears throat> you can see um, where that rainfall was timely. And, and sometimes when you get rainfall, again, it's not all needed because the soils are already moist. So this helps you, to, again, go back to this question of how are the plants responding? It's not just did they get rain or is there a certain temperature, but are the plants able to use that rain to grow in a way that we as uh, producers want them to grow?